Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about hand sanitizers. And I want to share with you when my customers and the people I come across ask me, Jackie, what are the difference between isopropyl alcohol versus ethanol alcohol based hand sanitizers? Which one would be better to use? Okay, first I want to let you know, isopropyl alcohol is also commonly known as rubbing alcohol and they're mainly used in antiseptic and a lot of hospitals use isopropyl alcohol or the ethyl alcohol which is can be ethanol alcohol you can find it in the beverages such as you know alcoholic drinks or they can also put it in um, the wipes and soaps now these two can be used as disinfectant but they just have different chemical properties now, according to the CDC, they require you to have at least 70% alcohol base in your hand sanitizers to be effective to fight against this COVID-19. Now, in our store, we have isopropyl alcohol from La Palm, and this is a hand sanitizer that are approved from the FDA, and it meets the requirement, which is 70%, but with this sanitizers, it's contained isopropyl alcohol. Whereas this med spa, it's also 70%, but the, the ingredients would be ethyl alcohol base. And there's not really much of a difference because they both are effective because it meets the CDC requirements on 70% alcohol. Now, a lot of people will ask me, well, this one, the ethanol alcohol, it smells like whiskey. Well, it is because it could be fine on beverages. So, but you know, it just depends on what, you know, your people preference. And I just say that they're the same, you know, similar. You can use ethanol alcohol or you can use isopropyl alcohol. So I want you guys to make sure that when you go to the stores or whenever you use hand sanitizers during this pandemic, you need to make sure you read the label and make sure it has at least 70% either isopropyl alcohol or ethanol alcohol because there are some sanitizers out there um, that doesn't meet the requirement. Maybe they have like 60% or less and that's not going to be effective enough for you to be able to disinfect your hands and it's not going to be able to you know help you fight this COVID-19. So again like I always wanted you guys to understand please be safe please be safe in your salon and protect yourself and your customers okay all right take care everybody bye